Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video that has been really highly requested, is how to install fonts on your iPad. I already have a video like this up on my channel, but I thought that I should film an updated one, as well as include some of my favorite fonts that I use in my digital planners and for note taking and other things. So as usual, I am using my iPad Pro 2018 in the 11 inch size and the second generation Apple Pencil. So we will be using the app iFont today, and then I will be using the Defont website to access some free fonts. But you can turn anywhere for fonts such as 1001 free fonts and other cool websites for these fonts. And then there's a bunch of design websites you can also turn to if you want to pay for your fonts. So here's a look at the homepage of the font. It always has recently added fonts on the front page, and then it breaks down all of its fonts into different categories here at the top. I really like using the script category, specifically the calligraphy and handwritten sections. I really like fonts that emulates someone's handwriting. I also like the basic category for serif and sans serif fonts, of course. All right, so every font will have the name and who it's by in this red labeling here. And then over here on the right hand side is what it is categorized as. And then underneath is the licensing info on the font. So most fonts on defonts.com are going to say free for personal use like this one, which basically means, yeah, sure, you can use this font for yourself, but don't use it in anything you sell or for publicity or any pub materials, etc. Some fonts are totally free for whatever you use and they'll say 100% free, though I would still stress to look at the licensing for each individual font you download. And then there's going to be some that will say demo, which will only give you access to parts of the font, so maybe not the whole alphabet or punctuation. All right, so let's go ahead and pick a font here. I'm I'm going to go with the cute pinkies font. I think it's pretty cute demo font, but would look cute for my notes or something. So I'm just going to click this download button here. Once you download something using Safari, you'll see this little up arrow up here. So you can access the downloaded file directly from there, or you can go directly to the files folder on your iPad, which is what I like to do a lot. So from the files app, you'll actually hit the downloads folder here and then click the zip file of the font and it will automatically unzip your file. And this is true for all zipped files. In most fonts you download, you'll receive a readme file which will discuss the licensing information, something that is super important to read because you might not be able to use the font for a certain project or a product you wanna create. So look at that first always. And then some people will include a little picture just to show you what the font looks like and stuff. And then the font files themselves will either be TTF or O. OTF. For the sake of this tutorial, those files are virtually the same. It doesn't matter what you use and it will work just the same for what we're trying to do today. So I will just click one, I'm going to click the up arrow and then click the copy to iFont setting here. It will then automatically open the iFont app. So in iFont, it will have the installer on the left hand side with all the fonts that you installed. And then at the bottom, they actually have a font finder where you can visit the different font websites that they have linked. And then just a bunch of other settings like premium version and whatever else. I don't mess with any of this. I actually just stick with the free options available in the app. And then you can check out the installed fonts category, which will basically show you all the fonts that your iPad has installed. All right, so now to download the font, I'm just gonna scroll through my installer here to find the font and you'll see this install button which will indicate that you haven't already installed it you know so once you click that the app basically leads you through the process of downloading it you can read the instructions here but to use fonts you need to install a profile on your ipad and installing a profile is kind of like adding software to the device so you'll click the allow button and head to the settings app make sure to click profile downloaded here at the top and then click the downloaded font at the top of that and click install in the right hand corner it will prompt you to enter your passcode if you have one on your device and once you do that you'll click install again and again and that's all there is to it you can see all the fonts are already downloaded here, and this is where you'll access the fonts you downloaded. So for instance, let's say you want to delete the font from your iPad, you'll just click its profile here from these profiles that you downloaded, and then tap remove profile. Downloading a profile doesn't mean the font is available on every app on your iPad, unfortunately, so sometimes you may have to install the font directly into the app itself if it will allow for that, which is as easy as following the same earlier steps as before by clicking an app like Over or Fonto, for instance, to install the font on those apps. Please recognize though that not every app will support custom fonts, especially if that app is connected to the web like YouTube or something. 
meaning that custom fonts do not work on the web or on websites and stuff and that honestly would be just such a huge mess if you wanted to type like an email or something with a weird font so it's going to be the same across the emails and text messages too so downloading and using custom fonts is really helpful for those who use apps that allow you to use them which will mostly be graphic design apps or applications that are kind of in that realm as well as certain note-taking apps I personally love downloading custom fonts and using them in apps like GoodNotes for my note headers and digital planners. I also use custom fonts in Keynote to make my planners and templates, and custom fonts will also work in an app like Procreate. Recognize that if you do want to use a font, regardless of whether you paid for or you downloaded it for free, you will likely need to purchase a commercial license to use it in projects or things you want to sell, but that will all come with the licensing information in the font. And of course, if you ever have questions about the licensing information of a font, you can reach out to the designer or font maker directly. So all in all, look before you download for a license. All right, so now to show you all some of my favorite fonts, I'll have both free and paid versions. Take my hand and hold it tight. Look at the paintings, I'll be your guide. Don't stop looking in my eyes. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. It really does mean the world to me. Please don't forget to like and comment if you enjoy this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel before. I create videos on digital planning, general iPad and creative tutorials, as well as sprinkle in a little bit of college and student life, as well as being a small business owner. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also turn on your notification bell so you can be alerted to when I post next. I post videos every week, so feel free to check me out.